can you control a six mode light with the aux beam switch panel? Well, let's put it together and find out. Ever since I did the video controlling a two mode light with the aux beam switch panel, I've had a ton of questions on, can you control a six mode light? Well, let's find out. If we take the cover off here, we're going to expose in the control box all the fuses and the built-in relays. This light in particular has three wires coming off the harness. Red for power, black for ground, and the yellow will be the switch wire. We're going to connect the power and the ground to the first circuit, which is a 10 amp circuit. I'm going to put the red in the positive, and there's a little plus sign there, and there's a minus sign there. That'll be the negative for the first circuit. I'm going to leave the yellow wire off for now and show you how this works. So on the switch panel itself, the bottom right will coincide with that circuit. So when I press this button, this light will come on. And I can turn it off and on. So this button will control the off and on with the red and the black wire. On the second circuit, I will connect the yellow to the positive or the plus sign. I do not need a ground wire for this one because that black will ground both wires. Now I'm going to show you how with the second button, which coincides with this circuit, we'll be able to scroll through a six mode light. First, we're gonna turn the light on. Then we're gonna press this button twice, so it'll be on, off. That'll change modes, on, off. That locks in the next mode. So if we continue to do that, we'll get six modes. Three, four, five, six. Now we can turn it off. One more thing I wanted to show you. If you have a preference on which mode that you use most often, you can lock that in. So every time you press the on off button, that mode will come on by default. I'll show you how. If we turn it on and scroll, I'm going to say that the amber steady light is the one that's my preference. So I lock this light in by leaving the second switch off. Now every time I turn this off and on, it'll always go to my default mode. And I'm gonna show you on another one. Let's say this white strobe was my preference. It's locked in now that second button is in the off position. And you can tell it's off because the red light is not on right here. So if I turn the light off, when I turn the light on again next, it'll be in my preference, which is the white strobe. It's important to note that not all six mode lights are the same. This happens to be the aux beam six mode pod light, and it comes in a pair. Now, your light may have four or five wires coming from it. So it may have extra wires or may be wired differently internally. I have not experimented with other six mode lights. I know that this particular light does work with this switch panel. I specifically ordered this light just to do this video to show that it can be done. I also took the whole switch panel out of my forerunner just to demonstrate. So the answer is yes, the aux beam switch panel can control a six mode light. I did want to mention that I have another switch panel coming, which is going to be a, a higher end switch panel. And I consider it to be probably the best switch panel out on the market right now. I'll be doing a video about that one soon. I still do believe the aux beam switch panel is probably the best bang for your buck available right now. In addition, I've custom designed a bracket for fifth gen forerunners designed specifically for the aux beam switch panel and the other switch panel that I was referring to. It'll bolt directly into the engine compartment and it'll fit both switch panels with the cutouts to allow wires to come up and through. That'll be available on my website soon. If you have not checked the website out yet, I would appreciate if you do. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, I'd really appreciate it. If you've stuck around to the end of the video and you have any comments or your questions, please leave them below. I look forward to reading through those and I answer all questions and don't forget, Life begins where the pavement ends. I'll see you in the next one, guys.